there are going to be times in your life when people that are close to you or people that you care about or people that you look up to may tell you that you're not going to be able to achieve something. And for a lot of us it happens at a young age and people see just how you start out at something and if you don't show immediate talent and potential to them then they will just discourage you from getting hurt. They'll try to protect you. And for a lot of people that is enough. That's all they need to hear and they say, all right, you're probably right. I don't, you know, what's the point of putting in all this work if I'll never really amount to anything? But then there's the other people that take the other option and that is to make a conscious decision to do whatever it takes to achieve what they want and to rise to the goals that they've set for themselves. I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about uh, my history here because I've been getting a lot of requests for that. Um, when I started lifting, it was quite a long time ago. I was in junior high school and I was not very good at weightlifting. Uh, I did it because um, I wanted to be big and strong because I thought that's what you're supposed to do. And I was not the best squatter, I was not the best bencher, and I wasn't the best deadlifter. Um, people, if you want to know what my maxes were, I don't even know. They were so low, they aren't even worth remembering for me. But I do know they were not impressive, and that I was not the best at any of them out of my class in, uh, in the weights. But I will tell you that I was in there twice as much as everyone else, not accepting that circumstance. And I continually... I read everything I could about it. I was, I read books. I read online articles wherever I could find them. They weren't nearly as, as easily available back then. Uh, YouTube wasn't even a thing, but I watched every video I could on weightlifting. And just through the years, I started to force myself to develop into the lifter that I am now. Um, I've undergone so many different changes in the way that I perform each lift. Uh, the form that I use right now is not even close to what I started with or what I progressed through um, on really any of them. After about six or seven years of training really hard, I started to... my development began to catch up to my commitment. And I started to really excel in the deadlift especially and um, started pursuing deadlift-only competitions and getting pretty accomplished at those. And then I decided that I wanted to be a three-lift lifter, and I wanted to compete raw, because no one thought that I could. They thought, he's just got a really big deadlift, he'll never be able to bench much, and his squat is so-so. And so I put in years of work developing the other lifts, and just ignoring all of that. And that's, that's really a very general summation of what my lifting's been like. But I eventually got to the point where I hit a 17.46 total uh, raw with knee wraps at 195 with a 661 wrap squat, a 352 uh, paused bench, and a 733 deadlift. About six months after completing that total, I discovered that I had a degenerative injury in my spine. I had um, hyperlordosis. Uh, combined with facet syndrome and the two were basically meant that my pelvis was out of alignment my hips were messed up and it took me about another four months just to get back to where I could lift comfortably again it took me a long time to get that diagnosed and so what I went from that I, I went from this huge total that was just incredible for me at the time to kinda back to a normal guy and it's taken me almost two years to get back to those kind of numbers. And so when I, when I tell you guys that I am working beyond where I should be able to work, I mean it. There was nothing special about me at the start. There's been nothing special about me throughout this except for the fact that I will not quit ever. I will continue to pursue this and I will achieve the goals that I have set for myself. So thank you guys for watching. I'm sorry I didn't really talk much about the video itself. Uh, that was 
a 580 squat for four sets of triples. They were much better than they were on Sunday when I did the same rep scheme. And that was a 330 bench for three sets of five. That's all I needed to do. Got out of there without accessories because I just need to survive. I have one squat session left um, and a bench session tomorrow before that. So uh, thank you guys very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video and if you feel like you know a little bit more about me now, go ahead and leave a like rating or share it with your friends. If you um, would like to subscribe to the channel and see where I'm going with this, please go ahead and hit that button. Other than that, thank you so much for your continued support. I always appreciate it. It always is a joy to me to see other people getting anything from this, positive encouragement or any kind of technical advice or information. So I want you guys to keep that going for you. Um, thanks again, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.